All right, had her taken a look at the ammo collection and brought out the shotgun shells. Now this is a very small collection of shotgun shells. There's a lot of variety in shotgun shells out there, both in the gauge of the shotgun, the size of the shell, the type of shell, and oh, just all kinds of different uses of shotgun shells. One of the most you know used firearms on the planet. So obviously the ammo goes along with that. So we'll get started with uh, some of the shot shells. Uh, what these are is, um, again, some of the cartridges that people might be familiar with. A 22 long rifle, a 38 special, and then a 44 magnum. These each have a plastic projectile with some lead shot in them. I don't know if the quality of the video is going to let you see it or not, but there's some lead shot in each of these. They're going to be shot out of a, either maybe a pistol or a revolver. And um, again, to kind of give you some size scale there in the background, there's a 22 long rifle a 380, um, that's a 38 special, then a 9mm, then a 40, and a 45 there on the right. And again, you know, just to put it in scale, one three and a half inch shotgun shell, you know, is dwarfs them. So shotguns are definitely the, the big guy on the block. So I guess we'll start over here on the left. We've got a snap cap. The idea of a snap cap is you've got a double barrel shotgun, uh, you open it, it's going to cock the hammers. When you close it, those hammers are going to be cocked back and to let the springs release and, and let it sit in storage, uh, you don't want to drop that hammer on nothing. So you put in a basically an inert piece of plastic with a soft plastic that's going to take the, the, the hammer striking it and take the abuse so that the tr your trigger and your hammer don't. Um, next up is a, is a basically a dummy round. Uh, the idea here is that it's high visibility, uh, works in a shotgun, has a brass uh, rim, but it's inert again. It's just a piece of plastic. There's no primer. There's nothing going to make a noise with this. The idea is that it's going to cause the weapon, the, the shotgun, to malfunction. That way the shooter has to react, has to clear the malfunction, and continue on with the drill. So it's a good training aid. Uh, starting on the low side, we've got the smaller end of the range. We've got a 410, uh, two and three quarter inch, and um, basically the smallest of the shotgun shells, real small diameter. Now your more common shotgun shell is a 12 gauge, two and three quarter. Um, to put it in comparison with that 410, much smaller. Basically a 410 is a 45 long colt. So it's a little bit longer, but it's the same diameter as a 45 long colt where 12, is, 12 gauge shotgun is quite a bit bigger. Uh, keeping this 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch 12 gauge as our baseline uh, compared to all these other shells, everything else we're gonna look at is bigger. Now there's, I'm skipping, whole uh, caliber or whole uh, uh, now I'm skipping whole gauges here you know between 410 and 12 gauge for example there's 20 gauge which is a little smaller than 12 gauge much bigger than the 410 uh, between 12 gauge and well I don't even have anything bigger than 12 gauge out here but above 12 gauge there's uh, 10 gauge and, and lots in between 18 gauge 16 gauge so um, lots of different sh diameters of the shotgun um, the way the numbers work is 410 is a sort of unique that's the caliber again it's um, I'm not sure of the history of that, but the, the, the gauges have to do with the amount of shot in a pound for the diameter of the barrel, I believe is the, f the calculation. In any case, um, the gauges go 20 gauge is the smallest, 12 gauge is a bit bigger, 16 gauge is a bit bigger. Um, so the smaller the number, the larger the, the, the way the gauges go is uh, the smaller the number, the, small, the smaller the diameter of the barrel. Um, so 20 gauge is the smallest, 16 gauge, 12 gauge, 10 gauge. As you get this, as the number gets smaller, the barrel gets bigger around larger cartridge. Um, so we've got a slug here, uh, a couple of different slugs. You got your two and three quarter, and then you got your three inch. Um, this one's high brass. This one's low brass. Um, size difference here has to do with the pressures typically or sometimes just the manufacturer. These are sabots, um, so these are solid copper, big hole, not like the, the, the slugs that are just solid lead with nothing, just a slight indention. These have a pretty deep hole. Um, the idea here is that they're really going to do some damage when they hit. A lot of weight to that solid copper as well. Now the three, quart, three and a half inch 
are just massive compared to these two and three quarter inch standard size 12 gauge rounds. So these aren't going to work in most shotguns. The shotgun has to say it's a three and a half inch magnum. So it's going to be a turkey gun. The idea of these is to get quite a bit of shot downrange to where it's effective on that turkey who might be across the field from you. Um, next up is some clear cartridges, um, some clear shotgun shells that I've gotten. Here, next up. Next up are some clear shotgun shells that come from Cellar Blight, I believe, uh, some out of Czechoslovakia. Um, you can see right through, and I think the quality of the video is going to allow you to see through the clear sh uh, shell and into the shot inside. Now this one, is, they're both two and three quarter, they're both 12 gauge, but you can see this one has quite a bit of shot and this one has a little bit fewer. Um, this one's a number four buck, so this is for, for buck, and this is a double O buck. So again made for buck but much larger pellets and fewer maybe 12, 16, eh, 12 and maybe into the 20s or more in this one. Um, in comparison again we're bringing out a 3 inch and you can see quite a bit more. More cartridge, more room, more shells or excuse me more, more shot. And then here's another comparison is the slug. Now the slug solid piece of lead and because most shotgun shells or most shotgun barrels are smooth this uh, has rifling in it. Now I've got one here that's kind of damaged so I'm going to just pop it open in case you're not familiar with what we're talking about when we say shot. This one just has a piece of plastic that's going to fly down the barrel first. It's just holding the shot in place while it's not in use. And you can see quite a few shot are coming out of there. What these are is lead balls. They're basically about the size of a nine millimeter really and maybe a little bit smaller and uh, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of them and assuming I have taken them out before maybe I've lost one but let's say about around eleven of these balls that are uh, fairly substantial so uh, you know using something like this which is double O buck um, I'm real familiar from movies and whatnot double O buck is going to be real effective on uh, pretty much whatever you're hunting Next up would be um, some of the paper cartridges, and these I just keep around because kind of the novelty of them, they're neat. I do remember back when we would reload them, um, they're made out of cardboard with some kind of a wax, I guess, to make them a little bit weatherproof, but they weren't waterproof. Um, this one's crimped, like the newer style plastic st type, crimped in a little bit different way, but crimped. And these earlier, still, these earlier style are crimped over with a paper cap, sort of like this uh, hat on the, the buckshot over there. So those are neat. They're, they're paper instead of plastic. And then we've got some rubber buckshot and the same thing. I figured I'd pop this one open because it's kind of interesting. Same principle and everything but it's a less lethal. Um, it's not non-lethal because it can be dangerous but it's less lethal and basically you got the same size because it is double O buck I believe. You got the same size pellets but they're just a dense rubber. Um, about the density of the tire, of tire rubber. Um, basically little balls, they're meant to be shot at the ground I believe and then up into the knees of a uh, you know, bad guy, get their attention and get them to stop. And then last up is just a little short stubby 22 or 12 gauge and uh, you know compared to that two and three quarter um, basically what these are for is to give more capacity down the magazine uh, the tubular magazine underneath an automatic shotgun I believe they were originally used for law enforcement maybe for hunting as well. Uh, this one happens to be shot and you can see it through the plastic uh, cap there. Okay, again, these are a lot of different options. The last things we got up here is the less than lethal options. Now, I've been shot by this little puffball thing and by this golf look, cylinder golf ball dimple thing. Uh, this one hurt. This one really didn't hurt too bad, but it did get my attention. It kind of stung a little bit. Got hit in the back with this one and the leg with that thing. That's just uh, basically, a, a, again, a dense ball of rubber. Definitely wouldn't want to be shot by that, I don't think. I imagine they probably get two of those into a shotgun shell. And then this last thing is just pretty neat. It's a little um, missile looking thing that I guess is so we can maybe give it some extra range. Uh, you've never been shot by it, but it's real dense rubber. I don't think I'd want to be. Um, again, these are just scratching the surface of shotgun shells. There's quite a few, you know, dozens and dozens of varieties out there, probably hundreds.